Hi guys, I am Nolubonum Gasana, also known as Lady Knows a Darling. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be creating this look. I want you to sit back grab or better yet grab your stuff grab your makeup things because this is a beginner friendly makeup that was requested by one of my gorgeous gorgeous subbies i am going to list a name down below i am it's actually cc too so thank you so much babe for your request and let me just talk let me just let me just stop talking because that's all I do. Let me just, 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 just stop talking and just get on with this video. I hope you enjoy it. So guys, I'm just gonna go straight to this video. So I'm going to start with this Nature's Nourishment Skin Cream for dry skin. You guys already know this. So as you already know that this is. Uh, a beginner friendly makeup so I am just going to scoop that out using the back of my brush and I'm just going to moisturize and warm the cream as well and the reason for this step is that when applying your makeup you want to create this beautiful base of um a well moisturized uh, skin it's like an excellent foundation so I like rubbing that onto my skin and gently and then also mm. My hair. I know my hair is looking a little bit crazy with a pushback, but I did something that's not going to be all over the place. I don't know what to do with my hair as well. You guys already know the step. I'm obsessed with it. So you're just going to wipe off any excess product from your brows. There you go. You see? All of that dirt gone. Okay, let's put this away so first up you want to um shape your brows i know guys my brow is looking a little bit crazy but you are going to need a spoolie brush for this process um so i got this one from Fushini. it's from culture okay so i am going to start off by just giving them like a branch and a shape as to how I want them to look like. Go. And then as you guys can see, that they've actually grown underneath but i'm not gonna do that now or should i let me see i'm gonna, just gonna take pick up a tweezer and just So the second step is I am going you to use this micro precise eyebrow pencil. It is waterproof from Essence. Oh my goodness, I am obsessed with this baby. And it's in a shade number three, which is dark brown. Oh, just look at this. I'm just going to try so that you guys can see like how tiny that is which is just perfect for what we're doing so we're just gonna fill our brows and then you obviously know that we are always starting with our tail giving it light stro strokes did i say strokes light strokes oh my goodness so did i 
quiet now i am breathing quiet child and then we are just giving and then and then also now that we are done uh, doing that i am just i'm just i think i'm just gonna explain like in one brow like literally one side of the face and <laughs> um when you are doing light strokes it's also gonna help you with the font as <laughs> as all of the music would say that mind the font whatever you're doing mind the so i'm just gonna go in now with my foundation my concealer uh just to clear out and just give it a definition you want to do that mainly because you want to have that beautiful clean finish and obviously as you know that um i use like <sighs> i use like two oh my goodness this bra, I don't even know why I'm wearing it. It's irritating me. Um, so I'm just, my brushes are dirty, you guys. I've just had like a very busy weekend. Like this past days have just been so busy for me. So I'm just cleaning my normal flat brush. A flat brush that I got from Signature. So I'm just going to give it like a clean and then i'm going to do the same thing with this angle brush from culture you guys already know this and then this other one also it's a flat brush but oh my goodness my brush is dirty. it's a little bit bigger than this one compared to this you guys can see they like different sizes and this is like the baby and this is the mama <laughs> Uh, what that is insane so i'm just gonna go in with this fit me maybelline concealer uh what shade is this oh it's in a shade 45 so i'm just gonna start it has this nice brush in front so i'm just gonna give it like right underneath my brow it's literally just literally my shade actually i'm just gonna do okay this is so weird because i hold my brush like this and then guys i just kind of feel like you can hold your brush whichever way works for you i mean i'm holding my brushes like differently depending really on what's happening at that moment so I am just going to clean, continue cleaning and making sure that there is no product that is left, um, that is left. Okay, why is it? Okay. I think there's something wrong with my lighting, my ring light. I've switched on the last curtains I've drawn, so I don't understand. So I picked too much product, so I'm just gonna try and clean that up. And as you can see, that where my arc is, I am not going in with any product reason for that i am going to go in with this candid photo ready candid uh concealer it's in a shade 060 uh, which is um deep fawns and i'm gonna use this baby like at the back of my brow area oh gosh Okay, so let's go. Uh, sweet 
baby. We are done with that. And then we're just going to go on top. Okay. Now that we are done with the bottom, we are going to do the top part using uh, the Maybelline concealer. As you can see, I am just going way above uh, my brow. As you can see there, reason being, I don't like working like too close because I don't want to leave any products like on my brow here. That is just going to give me that halo um, effect, which is going to look hideous. So I'm just, I'm start, I'm going to start working it like that and blending it as I go along. This is also like if you blend as you go, it's just going to make your life easy. literally there okay guys so now that i'm done with my brows i am just i'm going to show you a trick that i normally do um okay so you're just gonna take your dirty brush <laughs> and then you want to blend everything in to avoid creasing obviously you move this part a lot and this part and this part a lot of course it's gonna crease but we go through the stages to avoid that as you can see i'm literally just patting on my brows like in front i am just getting rid of any brow product on it so that I don't have like square brows i know they look a little bit weird right now but i'm gonna go in later with uh this brow defining brow gel later on and you're gonna thank me so now the second step is now that i've moisturized depending on your skin type as well depending on the kind of look that you're going for you are going to prime your skin um accordingly so I am going to use this um, Photo Focus. It's Wet and Wild Photo Focus First Primer. It's matte. So this is what I'm going to use uh, because I'm not really. Uh, I've changed product as well, as you can see, guys. That we are now battling with scarring. Guys, I know there's a noise that's coming outside. My kids are back from school. I had a busy morning, so I couldn't film. So I'm only doing it now, and they're back from school, so I'm forgiving for that child. But there's nothing I can do about it. Now we are done priming. As you can see, it just mattifies my skin like immediately it's not even giving me a chance to breathe chow it's like there i mean as you can see that um the pimples are no longer there i've got like what a couple of them actually and i'm just i have just changed my product like my face product i am now with elizabeth arden it's a little bit pricey well not a bit it's pricey but it's worth it so now i am going to go in with this um revlon candid uh foundation it's in a shade 530 which is pecan so obviously it has that pump also guys uh you wanna swash your makeup i mean there are no hectic uh, restrictions anymore. You can just walk in. I got this from Truett. It was 150 rands. It's really, it's really affordable, especially, uh, it's actually a very good brand. And I'm just going to take this very dirty brush. And then I'm just going to do 
like that pump the foundation like at the back and then i'm just gonna work it literally just place it and then i'm gonna start blending the rest of the product that is on my skin keeping in mind to avoid this eye area because you're gonna be putting your concealer there and you want to avoid creasing as much as possible and what i like about this foundation as well i don't even struggle like swashing it my friend was helping me lindy with okay so as you can see it's a medium coverage because i can still see like my dark marks which is not a problem for me because i can just go in again with the second layer like small amount and just build the desired coverage that i want and this one is just so perfect like you have no idea you have no idea also i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with my hair as in how i'm gonna style it that's insane so i'm just gonna take like a small amount and then okay that's enough i get very generous Whew, okay and then i'm just gonna reapply like where i have most scarring that i need covered uh i have scarring almost like almost off my face but there's parts of my face where the foundation just covers it up because they're not as dark and yo places like my forehead it's mainly the cheeks that i'm struggling with if you know what i mean i know we're looking a little bit hideous we look like we are wearing a mask but worry not we are going to to work on that i like to just to give it like a little bit okay we are done with that i am obsessed with sponges you already know this okay this is dirty who did i use this on no okay we're just gonna go in with a clean sponge how cute is this i got this at my local drugstore uh, it's called wang that's where i got this so i found my water spray and then i'm just gonna i'm trying like a matte ish look and then i'm not gonna use this you know this is my favorite setting spray but i'm not gonna use this today because it gives me like that gooey look which i'm not going for today uh i'm just gonna give this baby so today we're just gonna go to the base i'm just gonna blend blend i know it's blended but i'm just gonna go in again with my damp sponge you want your sponge to be damp uh when you're using it well with the resin you know what a sponge does it sucks up the product so this is us trying to avoid that and also it just gives you like this beautiful finish oh my goodness look at that i don't even remember when last i did like a matte look so now i'm just gonna go in again with this um use this again it's the candid uh concealer in a shade deep phones which is 060 and i'm just gonna start highlighting my face okay we do 
and then and then also this brush it just picks up like so much product so in some cases i end up just using like dipping it once and then i have it enough to highlight like everywhere that i want to highlight like now you see i get like a lot which is good which is really good for me it works for me and i like things that i'm making so as you can see i'm dragging that a little bit low uh, okay so i'm just gonna go in with the same sponge and i'm gonna start blending all of the product starting with the tip of my nose when you are blending you want to like press onto the skin like that and work your way out as you are transferring the product to other parts of your face okay i already have like a big forehead so there's no reason for me to actually go wild and over highlight it it's just gonna be ah i'm right there your veranda sits and then now comes the delicate part of your face of the of this cake that we're baking chow as you can see here i am just dragging the foundation like no the concealer you want to drag like not drag as in like sweeping but as you are blending you are blending in the outer part of your face that's just gonna help you drag the product and not mess anything and you're just kind of keeping it in place and then also you don't want to press too hard when you're doing this step you just want to dab 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 up until you feel i feel like i can use like more concealer there so i'm just gonna do that so i'm going to go again and then i'm just gonna go again with this i need to buy concealer i'm out of concealer and literally this is the only concealer i use which is very weird which is very very weird okay then step just trying to see if it's still recording okay okay so we are now going to okay i do this a lot which is weird so i am going to go in with this uh, design cover up concealer it's in a shade oh, let me see let me see i got this at edgar's it's an edgar's in house i think yeah uh it's in a shade mahogany to contour okay it also has like that small brush i haven't used this in a long time i'm surprised that it's actually in good shape so i'm just gonna go up remember where your concealer ended you want to start your contour there i'm just gonna start your contour there and as you can see today i'm using a little bit light so i am going to go in and just let me do it. This is actually giving me weird vibes. Look, it's like light, but don't worry about it. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go in with the powder a little bit light because this is light.
just feel numb. And um, I'm just gonna explain real quick as to why this step is like important. Okay, so guys, I feel like it's too light, like the contour. Can you see? But it's fine. Okay, let me explain why I contoured. So this is the highlight in contour's purpose is you rip shaping and defining your face, all of your fixtures, where you have highlighted. Those are like the places or parts of your face that's gonna uh, be like outstanding. They're gonna be there, like you understand. And then when like you hit by the camera, they just popping the out there hence i said i'm not, I'm not going to use too much on my forehead or transfer the product i'm just going to press the sponge on it mainly because it's already big why do i want y'all to see that why do you want to make it worse you know what i mean and then now the contour so you contour the jawline it's literally straight you can see it's straight there with the tip of your ear because a lot of people are always asking me how do you know where to contour it's like literally just there. You can see, do that. It's going to work for you. And then as well, I just contoured my jaw line as well because you want to define that. You want to have those nice jaw lines. You know what I mean? And then your nose as well. So I made it like in a kind of V shape, mainly because I'm going to blend and then I'm going to make it slimmer and smaller. And then I'm just going to give it more definition. And then I'm using, I used it here as well. And then on this part, on my chins, like a, on my chin, both sides of my chin, I want to make it like a little bit smaller than in what it already is. And then same as my forehead, I am trying to get rid of also that halo effect where you can literally see uh, where the foundation ended. So let's get to blending, shall we? Sponge because I want everything to be seamless. So I'm just going to go in with my sponge and then I'm going to start with this side. I'm just going to blend onto the skin as well. I am literally not. Ugh, what is that? Okay, that is weird. I am just not trying to drag that and then i'm just gonna do that as you can see and then i'm gonna go in and do the same process there as well and voila let's blend shall we i am just gonna go in and then start blending on my nose oh my goodness i look so weird and what did i do I just I used a bigger sponge instead of using this little baby. Just gonna give her a little bit of water spray, so I'm just giving her a wash. Uh, and then I'm just gonna get a damp. <sighs> we press for time, and then I'm just gonna use her to blend my nose mainly because this is like a delicate small part of my face and then i'm going to slowly and gently start blending my nose there you go so this is the blended side and then we're going to repeat the same process on this other side you really want to take your time when you do this. Don't be crazy like me. Okay, you want to drag it out like to your brows. Not exactly there, but somehow like just a tiny inch away. Okay, there you go. Did I say the ego to you guys? Mind me. Okay, so I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just gonna go in again with my 
concealer my highlight mainly because when i used this big sponge it kind of smudged the whole thing together so i'm going to use this a little bit sharp this pointy uh side over there just to blend that in so this is basically the process to everything once you feel like of course there are products that are just going to get in the way you can't have this like 100 percent 100 percent perfect so you just might want to kind of feel like we got in the way here as well and then I'm just going to use the same sponge and then I'm just going to do that. Come on. There you go. Oh, okay. This is actually serving me exactly what it's supposed to serve. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. This is beautiful. This is just gorgeous. Okay, now that we are done blending, we're going to go in with our powders. Starting off with uh, my new favorite from my favorite brand. Cecilia de Bores. Oh, love. Love, love, love. Love this powder. This is literally like my second favorite powder. You know, guys, no, I was obsessed and I've been using it for a while with, um, I'm just going to take a sponge. It's like an angled sponge. It's like a triangle type of a thing. Um, you guys already know that I am a candid baby, but candid has found a sister so i always start with this small corner just to do like the bridge of my nose there like that i don't mind all of this craziness i'm gonna blend it as well is this skew charm is okay and then i'm gonna just gonna take the side and pick up the powder and place it right underneath do the same process on the other side as well Already I primed with um, a matte primer, so I really don't need to bake because my skin has already have that mattifying effect from so I'm just going to blend and press this onto my skin. And then I'm just going to go in and kind of do that. Just to give this definition. <laughs> Look, looks so cute. Exciting. But I kind of feel like that's not something that you guys are looking for right now. So I'm thinking that maybe I'm just going to go hold off on them a little bit. But do let me know if you enjoy them or if I should just stick to other things. Anyways, I'm going to go in with this darker shade. <laughs> I'm not buying this until it's finished. I'm not buying another one. It's in a shade Expresso number 70. It is from Essence. Unless Essence do the right thing by the girl and send me like a whole hamper. That would be dope. 
So I'm just going to use this blending brush and just pick up that product and just go in. <sighs> Forgot to do that. So I'm just going to blend that upward a little bit just to give it definition. Uh, same thing. I oh, know it looks hideous, but don't worry. We're going to blend it. I'm just... Okay. And then blend. I know that's right. I know that's right. And then I just do this stage as well, all of this part of doing this, just so that it gives definition as well where the contour is and where it isn't. So now we blend, 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 and blend, blend, and blend. And also, guys, I need about 12K for a vlog camera. So, that's just crazy. It is just crazy, child, because there's just always something, something getting in the way of what I want. And I end up buying something else. Okay, so I'm just going to take this very dirty angle brush and then I'm going to pick up this powder again like so and just blow off any excess and then this is just going to give me full control that's why I like using like a smaller brush in this area it just gives me full control and the fact that it's angled works wonders for me. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. I'm just going to press, like, product there. There. On the corners of my eye as well because I am really trying to snatch this nose like tiny child like snatching and just redefining and and just make it do what I want it to do child I mean what the hell not? What the hell not? One not. One not. One not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I feel like the powder has just been sitting like on me. And also, I have a beauty mark on my face. So I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and I'm just going to sweep this like so. Just do the same. We kind of like sweeping it off. Sweeping it off. Sweeping it off. And sweeping it off. Okay. And sweeping it off. Sweeping it off. Sweep, 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 sweep. That's what we're doing. And I know I have like a halo effect. Don't worry about it, child. Them setting sprays is going to make that go do exactly what we want it to do. So, okay. Okay. So, now that we are done 
with this part i am just going to go in with my pressed powder from um fit me maybelline it's in a shade 330 which is toffee and i am just going to like remember why we're doing all of this it's because we are going match on so that's that's basically just the only time where i use like this much powder on my face especially pressed powder i'm not a pressed powder fan but depending on what i do so i am just trying to eliminate all of that halo effect that's going on there so hence i am using this Ugh. okay so now that we are done with this i am just going to go in with my do i even want to wear an eyeshadow i'm not sure if i want to wear an eyeshadow but i kind of feel like this look is simple and i am just gonna go in i'm just giving you a shadow just something that's gonna give it uh, as much as you want a natural glow, you want something that's going to give it like, and look at me, I'm here kind of a thing, like I'm natural, but I still look gorgeous. You know what I mean? I don't even know if I'm making sense to you guys, but so I'm just going to go in with this um, eyeshadow brush. Okay, these new brushes don't have names on them. And then I'm just going to pick like i'm just trying to go with a different shade like different shades that one i normally use like i see here there is still unused brown so i'm just gonna use that today so first up i'm just gonna use pick up a lighter brown shade and then i'm just gonna pack that and then i'm just gonna pack that like so and do the same thing on the other side okay i'm just not trying to do anything fancy or anything literally anything whatever right now. okay so as you can see i didn't pick up much product so you got that like brown that's going on there it's not much so guys don't i have clean brushes like really like can't i just find a clean brush like just one clean brush snap oh guys this is bad anyways so i am just going to pick now let me see Let me just i'm just gonna pick this color and see how it looks on me i have no reason picking that color but i'm just gonna do it <laughs> i'm just gonna do it so there i found me a clean brush gosh gosh yo this is really light let's see how it looks there we go oh my gosh okay okay we're just gonna go back with it okay i think i like it i really think i do like it okay okay i think i like it i think i like it i am just here for it and oh my goodness okay and also when you're packing your eyeshadow so you pick and then you clean this is what you do before you can actually this is to avoid mess the last thing you want is an eyeshadow sitting on your cheeks and you don't know what to do with it so this steps helps you just to keep it clean and nice don't worry about you 
getting rid of that product i mean you literally can build whatever pigment that you want so it's really not a trend smash i'd rather have like a clean face than having to do this like at one go with messages and everything as you can see i'm not pushing the product on the inner corners of my my eye mainly because i am trying to squeeze another color in there like how's me digging this i am digging this color at first i thought it was gonna be like a weird ashy color but i'm really enjoying it Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Ciao. This is the color that I've been looking for. Okay, I smudged there a lot bit. So I'm just gonna go in. So you guys can see how I keep going back, redefining, going back and redefining. That's basically what you do with makeup. Don't be too hard on yourself and say, oh, oh my gosh, I missed this step. I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. Really, guys, break the rules. I break the rules. I, I break the rules all the time. All the time I break the rules. If I do it, Y'all can do it too. Oh my gosh. I am digging this eye. Really, I am digging it. Like, I don't want to lie. Okay, let's see what color now we are picking. And also, I need like a smaller brush to do so. What happened to you, baby? Why are you be looking all fishy? So I'm just going to take this small precision brush and then it's not either the right brush for this part. Let me just see. Okay. I'm going to go in with another brush. Oh my goodness, my brushes are so dirty. Actually, I think I'm going to wash my brushes immediately after this. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with this brush. And then I'm going to pick like this shimmery lighter shade there. As you can see, it's making so much mess. Okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you can see. Okay, okay. so it doesn't do... It's not giving me what I want. So I am just... What's this clean brush that I have now? Oh my god! Oh my gosh. I want the same brush that I just used. There it is. There you go, baby. I just want to clean that. I am still going to put another shade. Like, here. So... There you go. Okay. I don't think it gets any more natural than this. Oh, why am I itchy? Okay, so I am going to go in with my blush. Y'all already know. Y'all know this. So I'm going to use this angle brush. Oh, it's new. It's fluffy. It's dirty. So I'm just going to pick out this. You guys already know. This is like my favorite 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 blush so i am gonna go in with this yardley london it's in a shade at terra quarter like it's already making like that hole there as you can see it's screaming put me down girl and then you can see so it's angle we are going to swatch like this and then Oh my goodness, guys. 
Like, if I can tell you a story about this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Come on. Come on. Don't tell me you don't see what I'm saying. Don't tell me you got zero reasons. You see? We clean any excess, darling. If it's powder, get rid of the excess. Because you want very smooth and cute finish. Okay. Okay. I want to show you as well, guys. Okay, I'm going to use this brush. And then I'm just going to do that. It's the same brush that I used. Because I feel, kind of feel like my contour lines are like thick. And they've got harsh lines. So I'm just going in with my foundation brush to blend that out i don't want that i don't want that silliness i don't want that there we go okay now that we are done i am going to go in with this revlon skin light um highlight it's in a shade 120 gilded glamour so i'm gonna use the same brush and then just pick on that oh my goodness i love my compact highlighters it's just guys let me show you something let me show you let me show you like like can you see it's giving a warm orangish kind of vibe which just works amazing with this blush Woo! child did that did, 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 did this just happen oh my gosh guys i'm probably one of the people that will tell you that there is never like too much glittery shimmery you know what i mean on a girl's face like why why would it be now why would it be too much okay i'm just gonna use like my finger and just go there chill and then not everywhere where you highlight it but you want when you lighten hit to hit like right there baby like right there okay okay you know what I mean and then it kind of disappear there like I'm here I'm not here <laughs> kind of a situation going on Okay, and then now that we've got that going, I'm just gonna take this a small fan brush and then just blend that. You don't want it to have like harsh lines. You kind of want it to like sit there and be noticed. Like I'm sitting there, but I'm not sitting there. Chance there's like bills and looks like. Uh -uh, no, no, don't tell me you don't see that. No, no, no. I'm going in again. I know. I know. I know. Just, just, just. You, Papa. Oh, Sean. Uh, do you see what I mean? Like, like. I don't think you understand how obsessed I am with highlighter. Okay, we are done with the step. I am going to go in with this MAC Fix Plus spray. Okay, this always happens. You literally have to spray elsewhere first before you do it on your face. I don't know why. Ugh. 
can never have too much of this. I want you to see what this baby does. You see, it's kind of like putting everything together. So I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush and then just give them a little bit. Give them a little bit. And just let this sit and do what it's supposed to do. It kind of brings everything together and just kind of sets them there. I am just trying to find... A liner guys I don't have a lip liner okay I can't find it so I'm just gonna go in with my liner there yeah that is done i am just going to go with my revlon ultimate all-in-one mascara and then i'm just gonna give my my lashes a comb before i go in with my false lashes i'm just using this step to actually just gather them and put them in one place you know what I mean? And also this helps with getting rid of any eyeshadow that's sitting there that you don't want. Especially if you've used like a lighter shade, you really want to avoid like having that there. I mean, it's not supposed to be there, so why is it there? <clears throat> you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna just going to give... Cousins and sisters, the same treatment. I always mess this step, so I'm really not about to mess it today. Almost, guys. Almost. I almost let you down. Can you believe that? I almost let us down. Oh, my eye is irritating me. Okay, so we're going to go in with this Gosh Defining Brow Gel. Just to give this baby's a definition of some sort. So we're just giving them a comb. Let's give your babies comb. Okay. This is a little bit weird. <laughs> like when I think about it, but I love this. I love when my brows are looking like this. Look. Okay, we are done with that. I wish I could be one of those people, like cleanest people, where they use one product, they put it away. I like having a whole mess in front of me. Okay, let me try and see if I can find a liner, guys. It's also not a train smash. If I can find a liner. I am just going to use, okay, I can't find the liner. So I'm going to go in with this Marvel Maybelline lipstick. It's in, oh gosh, oh wow. It's in the shade 75 fighter. It looks like this. And then I'm just going to put this like all over my lip before, like, 
you will see why. <laughs> it's giving like a beautiful. And what I like about this one, it's not like those typical. Mm, did it just get answered? It's not like those typical uh, matte lipstick that is just gonna dry your lips. Okay, there you go. I oh, know we don't make sense. I know. And then we're going to go in with this MAC lip gloss. It's in a shade uh, low cut. It's like a dark brown. It's a gloss. And then I'm going to just going to scoop like a little bit product there. And I'm just going to line my lip like you would with your lip liner. I don't even know like why I start with the lighter shade and then this it just works like just this combination like just these two like these two it works I haven't tried it with other colors okay why am I doing that Winding, my nocturne is on me. I'm going keep it on. Nocturne is on me, guys. There. Woo! Woo! You! <laughs> I'm just going to put on my lashes I'm gonna put in my falsies and then after I'm done I'm just gonna try and fix my hair so let's see each other once I have my hair and my lashes on right I am just gonna show you how I put my lashes on obviously I'm not sure if my lighting is okay but let's do this okay so I went and applied glue on my lashes and I waited a little bit until they were a little bit ticky-ish and now I'm just going to take my mirror because I kind of felt like since it's a beginner friendly makeup I might as well do all the necessary steps so what you want to do is you want to hold your mirror like this and you want to look down you don't want to close your eyes but you want to do that like you open your eyes you look down and then once you're done with that you go in with this last part pressing it down on your natural lashes and then once the glue is tacky it just kind of sits exactly where it's supposed to sit and just like that so we do the same process lucky click did i say click yeah, well. and then you drag this and then you put it out there in its place where you really want it to sit and same it's just same same cool so this is the final look I am just not wearing any accessories today. I feel like my hair is like messy enough <laughs> to cover my ears. So there's no need for me to actually just go extra. Uh, so yeah, guys, this is the final look. As you can see on my check with the light, 
against it they're like peachy so cute and just happy they look so pretty so please do let me know what you think of this look down in the comments below or better yet recreate this look and tag me on all of my social media platforms on instagram i am lady knows and on facebook i'm noli nunkasana and on tiktok i'm noli five i actually think i should try and post more content of tiktok so that i can actually give you guys a reason to follow me but anyways i'm gonna link my i'm just gonna put them on my description box as well so that you don't forget y'all and i'm gonna try and put as well uh as the products that i used and yeah man thank you so much i really enjoyed doing this so catch me on my next video baby thank you so much for watching Get you off the brain